Hello, this is Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and I'm here to show you today how to connect with Adobe Connect. Our lesson today is all about your microphone, how to turn it on, and how to test it if it is not working. So first and foremost, once you come on as a participant or a presenter, you would come up here to the microphone icon and click directly on the icon. That will turn it from white to green. Once you do that, your microphone should be working. If it's not, you have a couple of other things you can do. Also, if your host tells you that they hear a lot of feedback, these are also some steps that you can take. Go ahead and click the little arrow right by the microphone. You want to make sure that the correct microphone is selected. If you only have one, then that means it is using the microphone audio on your desktop, your laptop, or whatever device you're using. If you have multiple microphones listed here, then you want to try each one to see which one is actually connected. If you're getting a lot of feedback or someone says they can't hear you or possibly you're too loud, you want to come here to adjust microphone volume. Click that and you can see that you can adjust the microphone volume right here. Next, if you ever wanted to disconnect your microphone, you can click here. We don't usually use this button. And then you see mute my microphone. Honestly, to mute your microphone, all you have to do is come up to the green microphone and click it again. And now you see that your microphone is muted. If it has a little line across it, and if you come down here to where your name is listed, you'll see the microphone with a little red slash. That tells you that your microphone has is muted. If all of these steps still do not work, what you can do is come over here to the meeting button. Click it, go to Audio Setup Wizard. When you click Audio Setup Wizard, it's going to take you through some steps to test your audio. You can play sound to test your speakers. It's going to ask you to choose the correct microphone. It's going to ask you to record. You can test silence. And then usually after you've gone through this, you can see that it's successful and your microphone will start working. Last but not least, if you've done all of these, the only other thing you can do is to completely go out of the Adobe room shut down your internet and then come back in. That solves many, many issues. So all you would do is again get out of your Adobe room and then go ahead and shut down your entire internet. Just get out of your internet. Come back into your internet, click on the link again, come back into the Adobe room and it really does solve a bunch of issues. So those are the steps you can take to get your microphone working. The other thing that you can do is to go to a website called Vocaroo, B-O-C-A-R-O-O dot -O com. This is a really good website where you can actually record yourself to see if your microphone is working. You can do this before you actually go into the Adobe Connect meeting room. You can click to record, click allow. This box may also pop up the first time you click your microphone on Adobe, you have to click allow. If you mistakenly click deny, then you need to go through some of those steps I showed you. And when this box comes back up, you have to click allow. I'm going to click allow again. And now Volcaroo is actually recording my voice. I can stop it at any time and then I can actually hear my own voice to see how I'm sounding to other people. So. That is my last tip for things that you can do to make sure that your microphone is working when you come into an Adobe Connect meeting. Thank you so much and have a great day.